Before we remove the blue tape and drop the top pivot into the panel, we're going to loosen up the 5mm Allen set screw for that rod. Okay, now we're going to remove that blue tape. As you heard, the top pivot just dropped out of the header and is now sitting on top of the panel. So now we might need to move the panel a little left, right, inside to outside to get that rod to line up with the panel. Okay, now that he has the top pivot lined up with the panel, he's using a 14 and 15 millimeter open-ended wrench to thread the top pivot into the panel. The reason you need a 14 and a 15 millimeter wrench is there's certain areas on the rod that take the 14 or 15 millimeter. Got the top pivot threaded into the panel. We're going to remove that Allen key so we can see the flat spot of the top pivot where at the end we're going to reinstall that Allen key to sit on the flat spot so it can't adjust itself. So we have an employee on the exterior and on the interior and we're going to start threading that rod by passing the wrench through that header and panel to back and forth. So they're pushing the wrench to the outside. The outside guy turns it, pushes it into the inside, it just speeds it up. It's easier to adjust it that way. Okay, now I've threaded the rod about halfway into the panel. And now on this rod, I'm on the part where it has four flat spots. So now I can use a 14 millimeter side instead of the 15, and I don't have to pass it through. What you're looking for is you're looking for a 3 8 gap at the top and a 3 8 gap at the bottom. Once I get to the correct gap that I want, I'm going to look inside that hole where we remove the 5 millimeter Allen key and we're going to look for the flat spot of the rod. That's where you want to put the screw back. You want to make sure the screw is touching the flat spot. If it's not, then the rod could adjust back down by itself over time. 